What's up, YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Apologies that I haven't been uploading many videos uh, lately. I do have that uh, men's physique competition coming up next weekend, so I've been really focusing on uh, my training for that and my diet and all that, so that's really sat me, and uh, I just haven't had the energy to uh, make many of these videos. That being said, we have a little job set up right now that I thought some of you might be interested in. It's something I don't see a whole lot done uh, very frequently in our trade, and that's dot peening. So what dot peening is, is it's where you take a little machine called a, called a dot peener and it's going to engrave by using a little carbide tip and hammering it in to the part and it can engrave whatever you want. Um, one of the main advantages to this is that you can program it kind of the same way that you can program a, uh, a CNC machine, but you can program it just by typing things in, you press a button and it goes. Um, you can have sequential numbers with this, you can use it to do serial numbers. And one of the reasons we like to use it for this job is that we're doing it in hardened parts. Um, these are some hardened forgings that are extremely hard. They're used uh, with explosive charges, so these parts need to be absolutely perfect in terms of their grain structure and all that with hardening. And since we get the black oxided, when we, sh when we dot peen it, it turns out really nice because it essentially wears off the black oxide where we hit it, and then you can see the engraving real well, okay? Let's take a look at a couple of these parts that are done, and then I'll show you how the machine works. So these are the parts that we're dot peening. You can see here, they're lovely uh, castings that we went ahead and, uh, oh, sorry, the forgings, not castings, that we did a whole bunch of mill work to. We did a wire operation, they get painted. There's actually another blue line that goes on here. Uh, these are used in the high line industry to connect things together. So you can see here on this flat, this has been dot peened. And you can see that it's a whole bunch of little dots and you can control how close together those dots are. And you can see it comes out really, really nice. We end up doing three different um, operations on these. You can see a little paint over spray, but we'll clean that up before we send it. But you can see it gets a real nice engraving in there with all the part information. Um, you know, it's very consistent. It's very fast. I mean, I think one of these cycles to do this takes maybe about 10 seconds. To do this takes maybe 20 at max. Um, it's a really fast process and it always comes out really, really nice. So you can see here we're using a prior Markmate. Um, if you look down here, there's a, a keyboard just like on your computer. And we can go through our menus here and we can see exactly what we're going to end up doing. So I can control the X and Y positions of where everything's located. I can type in my text, we can change fonts. We can do just about anything with this thing and it works really, really well. So this is the actual marking machine. You can see right here, there's a little stylus um, that's made out of carbide. It's sharp. This in here is a heat sink because this thing gets really, really hot, so it needs to dissipate the heat. We just have a vise here, just a regular old little girl vise that's uh, clamped to the table. So we can put our part in, just a little thing to keep it level. And what this does, I believe it's magnetic. So there's a magnet up in here with a spring. So it will hammer that ma electromagnet and make that thing shoot, uh, you know, I don't know how many reps per second, but it's very, very, very fast. So let's put a part in and I'll show you how this sounds. Just gonna load the part in like that. Clamp her down nice and tight. Well, let's try marking this. Oh, that was my trial run, so let's get out of the trial here. Go to mark layout. There we go. You can see it's pretty loud. You can see what happened here. <laughs> I'm going to leave this in. But you can see the stylus here. So there's the spring, and that's what it's going to end up doing. Now, what happened is, I, uh, I didn't check this before I started running. This is just a test part. But this thing will rattle loose every so often. So you gotta make sure it's in there good and tight. So it just goes in there, tighten her up. Sometimes we use a, a pair of pliers to make sure it's good and tight. But let's just get that in there. Just like that. guys, uh, nothing too, too exciting today. Just thought I'd show you something that you might not have seen before. Uh, it's always good to know what options you have at your disposal. These machines aren't that expensive. Um, obviously, they add a separate operation if you're doing something outside of a mill. Um, you can always engrave in a mill. This is just a different option. This actually is a requirement by the customer. We are not permitted to engrave in the machine just because they want this form of marking. 
Um, and that's fine, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta stick to your customer's requirements. If that's what they want, that's what they get. Uh, hope this has been helpful, guys. If you have any questions, as always, you can email me, uh, letsmachine at gmail.com. And guys, let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. Uh, I see some of my views have dropped off a little bit, so I don't know if uh, my over recent videos haven't been up in everybody's alley, but if you wanna see things, please comment below and let me know, okay? Thanks as always for watching, guys. You take care.